Hello and welcome everyone to my little devlog as an audio developer. Um, first of all, happy new year because it's the first of first of 2021. The pandemic year is over or at least um, the first real pandemic year is over. And now we are going into the second version uh, round two of Corona year okay enough um extremely bad and tasteless corona jokes sorry to everyone who has lost um someone due to corona um i'm just a little drunk to be honest but i want to make this video because today i want to talk about something important that i just learned for some reason because some people on the discord apparently have uh, uh, just um, as few to do as me or something um, and it's a very important topic which is plugin validation because I found out that the VST3 SDK has a validator that you can use to find problems that occur due to some very weird edge cases in your plugin and it can help you to make it platform independent and stuff like that but the problem is when you make plugins with juice just like me then you might not come across the validator so that's why I make this video so that you can see that the validator exists and how to instantiate it, how to use it and stuff so yeah, um, I will just basically repeat what everyone told me in the Discord in a video so that everyone who watches my channel has the same knowledge. Uh, so first of all, you Google GitHub VST3 SDK and you find the VST3 SDK. Then you take any program that handles um, 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 repositories and clone the repository or you clone it in the fancy way or you don't just download the files doesn't matter and then when you've done all that then you can go into it and you go to I think it was plugin SDK samples VST hosting validator source and you see there's a validator but that's not the way you instantiate it instead what you do is you open Visual Studio, open local folder, go to where where it all starts, select the folder and then you hit um, OK. And then you have made a new project from the VST3 SDK and it gives you the option to uh, run uh, some stuff. For example, the validator. So you do that and you say run and then it builds and it gives you this nice little window and when you try to um, hit any key it closes and you might ask yourself well then how do I use it so apparently not like this so one way to use it is to go to the build which is um, here you can see where I go and then you take the path and then you can really feel like a cool hacker by typing command and then you go to this path like this now you're in that path and you can move use the validator by saying validator and you can now you can say help and it will show you all the commands that you can use and one of the most simple commands of these is, for example, list. Now it searches all the plugins and it shows you your list of installed plugins, which is um, really useful. And now I wanted to validate my plugin, which is here. So what I did next was copying the path and when we say validator help then we see it gives us the option to use this argument or, or option to um, 
run an extensive test which may take a long time so we try that validator e and the path and what will happen now it says some vector is out of bounds so apparently my plugin fucks up in some way and um, at this point it's hard to say why it does that because if you say retry then it won't give you the usual st uh, call stack since you're not in Visual Studio here um, but you can see it was a problem that occurred while testing sample rates so you already learned something from the validator something about sample rates uh, works wrong and it also makes sense with the information with the vectors because as you know you always have to instantiate a lot of buffers for all kinds of stuff um, yeah so what can we do about that we want to use the validator as some sort of debugger like we would use Cubase or FL Studio so what we can do there is we go into the um, project of the plugin that we want to inspect and um, then we go to the properties and debugging and instead of putting our door here like we would usually do we put the path of the validator here as you can see along with the validator exe and in the second line we put the uh, command argument which is e and the path to the plugin build which is created by building this plugin and now if we hit um, if we run the program here it will do the following hmm. now we see again that it um, fucks up at the sample rates but we still don't see why but now we can hit retry and get the call stack and now we can go back in it and we see like okay it can't handle the interpolation why is data too small let's see the index is 1114 data is bigger than that so it's not because of data but I'm using another vector here which is called excess and it's only 804 um, samples long and I know I can resize this vector with the resize method because I programmed it like that and now I just have to find out why it doesn't do that App apparently I forgot to resize something somewhere I could also go back even more to find out in which um, context it is um, it, it appears and also see other information about everything like which was the sample rate where it fucked up 2250 um, oh that's the baby phone Apparently it was turned off on the other side. Um, yeah, so I have to fix this box in order to make my plugin more accessible to everyone because apparently even though a, a sample rate like 2250 does not really exist in real life, um, I think that this indicates that there could also be problems with different sample rates or just with the process of changing the sample rate within a project in different doors which might um, take a different sequence in, in different doors like um, with uh, changing the sample rate and instantiating new channels and stuff like that uh, I don't know maybe so we will have to find out and the validator showed me that this problem exists so that's why I made this video to encourage all of you to um, also build the validator from the VST3 SDK and run your plugins through it because um, before you release them hopefully I already released this one so I have to be quick with fixes 
before anyone notices. All right. Um, yeah, have a good new year. I hope everyone is fine, even though the pandemic can be really annoying and everything. Um, yeah, 